Alright, welcome guys to what is actually my first Let's Play ever. Uh, this is for Amnesia the Dark Descent, as you can see right here. Uh, I realize I'm probably the last person on Earth to do a Let's Play of this, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with the game already, but I figured, why not put up a Let's Play? Uh, if I'm going to scare myself senseless, might as well put it up for an audience to see. I've been interested in doing Let's Plays for a while, and I figured this would be a nice place to start. Uh, you can tell me how the video and audio settings are after this. I've gone ahead and turned the gamma up a little bit from where I normally have it, just because I've seen a couple YouTube videos where it's a little bit dark. I'm trying to preserve the experience they're going for, and at the same time give you guys the ability to actually see what's going on. I've really got nothing else to say. I know you're probably not interested in anything but the gameplay now, so with that said, let's get to it. And I'm hoping this does live up to the hype. And one of the things that people pointed out was you don't have weapons, which I'm looking forward to. Don't forget, some things must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... Yes. I am Daniel. Alright, that doesn't look too promising. Let's see what that's all about now. <laughs> the first game I've ever started off right on the ground. trail and find its source. And I'd imagine that's this pinkish purple stuff that's over here. It looks like rose petals with it, but that's obviously not a liquid. But now let's see what this brings us to. Yeah, it seems to continue over here, so I'd imagine this. Is that me or am I falling? Okay, the character's falling over already. This, again, not a good sign here. Jesus! <laughs> All right, they wasted no time getting to the scares. This is really got to the point right here. Something glowing the table over there. Tinderbox. Okay, I imagine I'm gonna need a fair amount of these in this game. And supposedly this is the physics engine is pretty good, so if I go ahead and, yeah, just open it as I would a normal door. This looks like another tinderbox. Oh. Alright, so that's nice of it to give me some light to begin with. And I'm trying to run here, I don't know if maybe my key isn't working or if I'm not supposed to. So we'll see, maybe in a couple minutes if I can do that. Trail, this is continuing. Like creaking. And what the hell is that? <laughs> it's about three in the morning here, so I have this on a 27 inch monitor for headphones. This is quite an experience, I've got to say. So. Strangely shaking chandelier over here. And some more pink stuff. I don't know if I've ever seen a liquid that's actually this color other than Pepto Bismol, maybe. Not really sure what this is. Stay open. Okay. Nothing in there. Seems like there's fairly heavy emphasis on uh, exploration in this, which would be interesting because it gives you a nice open-ended world to work with. Nope, tables, nothing. And fabulous. 
That's what you mean. Great. <laughs> okay. So, I think I'm just about done in that room. Nothing here. I'd imagine I can't do anything with this shirt. No. And apparently I like the one I have. This has been pretty well lit so far. Obviously, other than that one room. So I'm just imagining this will get worse and worse as we go along. Old archives. And I'm not sure if this is tied in with the story in any way, or if they just like these little blurbs, but... I guess I'll find out. Unsettling events for it, just... Okay. And I do have an idea that I will witness my fair share of unsettling events in this. Thing is, I've been subjected to about four already. Okay. <laughs> Don't know where all these guys came from. Okay, maybe I imagine that? I don't know. My poor character's already not doing too well. That was for this room. And, okay, I'm hitting the run button and it seems to work now. So maybe it's just that one area. Yeah, it seems to be okay. See, now by now, I uh, just imagine something's gonna happen to me for about every single room I walk into. So, yeah, this is great. Okay, the camera's straightened out a bit there. Not sure if that's this. Lantern. Okay, so this might be my best friend for probably the rest of the game. What is this? Okay, so I've got quite a few tinder boxes already. I'm imagining that's good. Is there anything down here? A lot of pages blowing around in this game books. It's a little strange, but I guess if I'm in the archives it makes sense. Yep, I need the lantern already. Everything is shaking. There's creaking footsteps. It's really not going well for him. Anything interesting over here? I'd imagine I can't really do anything with these books. So my cursor change into. There we go. Grabbing it So. Okay. So now I don't think that'll be useful in this room. I don't really foresee a situation in which throwing a book would be useful anyway, but keep that in mind. It sounds more uplifting and promising than what I'm used to. Pick up the oil. Inventory. Oh, cool. What is this? Health, all is good. Slight headache. That really didn't take very long. And fuel for the lantern, which I'd imagine is this. Yes. And the journal they mentioned before, tinder boxes. Okay. So 19th August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. 
I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Well, that was uplifting. Everything was okay until the next to last page or so. There's an inescapable shadow chasing me. It's wonderful. Pressing again. Okay. So this seems to be the source of whatever liquid this is. Uh, so I imagine there aren't any momentos. Okay. Let's see. And I apologize, you might be able to hear my dogs are going absolutely nuts in the background, I'm not sure. What about? What is this? Okay, so... I'm trying to move it down. There we go. Okay, looks like I found a secret passage of some sort. To entrance hall. I think there's about 15 minutes on the video, and as far as I know, that's the length that YouTube allows us to upload. So I'm going to cut this off here, and I'll just come right back for part two afterwards. So anyway, thank you for checking out the first part of this. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions. Like I said, I've never done this before, and hopefully I'll see you back for part two.